Welcome to A Week in Science. I'm Paul Willis and RIOS brings you the news in science all week, every week. Everybody hates getting the flu and now researchers believe they may be able to predict future outbreaks. Using a technique similar to weather forecasting, the system can predict an outbreak's peak up to seven weeks in advance. Systems such as this could potentially allow health authorities to one day track and forecast seasonal influenza outbreaks in real time. This week, astronomers announced they found a new supermassive black hole, and it's a whopper. All galaxies are thought to have a black hole at their centres, with this supermassive one weighing 17 billion times the mass of our Sun. This black hole is so big it makes up 14% of its galaxy's mass, whereas a normal black hole would be around 0.1%. Other science news headlines this week include UK experts have argued that future climate treaties should focus on the amount of energy a country consumes and not its emissions. Exposure during pregnancy and early life to traffic pollution may be linked to an increased risk of autism. Female birds feed their young less if their mate is unattractive, but male birds will supply more food in the same circumstance and a team in the United States has claimed to have sequenced the genome of Bigfoot. But they conveniently neglected to tell us where they got their samples from. An international team, including Australian researchers, have found bacteria living under Antarctic ice. The study found a diverse range of bacteria living in an under ice salt lake, which had been isolated from the surface for over 2,000 years. These findings reveal some of the limits of life in extreme conditions and may help us to understand the possibilities for life, not only on Earth, but also on other planets. And finally, the Mars rover Curiosity has had a curious honour bestowed on it. Time magazine has nominated the rover as a contender for its prestigious Man of the Year award. Another non-human contender for this year's award is the Higgs boson, meaning this year's Man of the Year may well be one of two of this year's scientific achievements that have changed our understanding of the universe. Next week, RIOS opens its newest art exhibition in collaboration with Oxfam. The exhibition is in the Future Space Gallery from now until January. That's been the highlights of another Week in Science. For more on these and other science stories, go to the RIOS website, rios.org.au. You can also follow A Week in Science on Twitter using the hashtag WeekinSci. I'm Paul Willis, and on behalf of the RIOS team, I'll see you next week.